Hello, my dear students. Today we will see what is meant by optical fiber and what is its mechanism. Basically, optical fibers are very small thread-like structures. Or we can say it is just like human hairs. They have much much smaller diameter, like 0.5 mm to 1 mm. They are made up of glass material, and the main thing is we used them for data transmission over the long distances. So nowadays we are using optical fibers for data transmission. In optical fiber, we transmit the data in the form of light waves. In the form of what? Light waves. Now we will see its working principle. Optical fibers works on the principle of total internal reflection that is in short we can say tir now what is meant by total internal reflection see we know that whenever light travels from one medium to another medium it simply bends or it changes its path again it depends on like from which medium light is coming and then where it is going now see suppose we say that light is coming from a lighter medium and it is going into the denser medium if we draw one surface over here suppose this is the surface x y if we draw one incident ray like this again suppose this is incident ray and then if we draw one normal over here Suppose this is the normal. Normal is the perpendicular to the plane. And then we can draw the refracted ray now. Now it will depend that light is coming from which medium. Now suppose this medium from where light is coming. Suppose it is the denser one. And this another medium suppose it is a lighter one. As we know that whenever light comes from denser medium and it is going towards the lighter medium, it bends away from the normal like this one. So, this is the original path of the light, this one. And light here bends away from the normal. So, here we can say this one is the refracted one. So, in this way, in this way, if we increase the angle of incidence then ultimately at one particular point or at some particular angle whole of the refracted light it becomes perpendicular to the normal now consider another incident ray this one let the angle of incidence let it be theta now this incident light will bend again away from the normal and then it will become perpendicular to the normal so it will be like, like this one as we know this one is the normal so the angle of incidence for which refracted array become perpendicular to the normal that angle of incidence is called as a critical angle it is called as a what critical angle normally it is denoted by theta c or we can write it as a ic so at this particular critical angle this angle of refraction it becomes 90 degrees it becomes what 90 degree now consider another incident ray if we draw one surface here again let it be x y Again, we'll draw one incident ray here. Now, we are assuming that this incident ray, it is making an angle theta with the normal and this angle theta, it is greater than its critical angle. Now, what will happen? As we know that when angle of incidence is the critical angle at that moment, the angle of refraction it becomes 90 degrees so at critical angle the whole light it passes perpendicular to the normal so now what will happen when theta become greater than the critical angle 
it will be then at this particular angle of incidence whole of the light will get reflected in the same medium whole of the light will get reflected in the same medium and make a note that here we are saying that light is coming from denser medium and it is going towards the rarer medium or we can say lighter medium so the phenomenon in which whole of the incident light it get reflected back in the same medium this phenomenon is called as a total internal reflection and optical fiber work on this principle only we will see that how optical fiber uses this particular phenomenon for data transmission just remember two important things that for total internal reflection two basic necessities are required the first one is the light has to travel from denser medium to the lighter medium and the second one is the angle of incidence must be greater than the angle of critical or critical angle we can say and again remember one thing that every medium has its own critical angle so critical angle it is the individual property so total for total internal reflection light has to come from denser medium and then it has to pass through the lighter medium and second one the angle of incidence must be greater than the critical angle so my dear students in next session we will see the basic construction of optical fiber and how this phenomenon total internal reflection uses in the optical fiber thank you